Hello and welcome. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create uh, multiple textures on a single piece of material using Alpha. So let's get started. So I figured in order to do this, we needed something interesting to paint on. So here's our guy here. Let's paint on him, or and we'll set up some shaders. So the first thing we need to do is get some materials. I have the Node Wrangler installed. Let's start the screencast guy. Yep, okay, screencast guy is happy. And I'm gonna do a Shift S. Like I said, the no, sh the Node Wrangler. You do a Shift S, and you can change the shader type and I'm changing it to a diffuse only because it's smaller okay control T let's get our character out here some a texture new we want some skin for our guy and you know what you can pick the color probably didn't remember this but you can pick the color right here so for this one we're going to pick some eh, skin. Sure, there we go, skin. Now, so we don't need to paint it because we've already picked it, but so we're going to need to add a shirt. So we're going to do a Shift D, and there's a little tip for you. I've noticed that you want to hold the Shift D down, and that to give you that uh, extra shader there, or the extra node otherwise it connects it for you all right so now we have this another texture and we need to make some, a shirt and we're going to go back to the default settings here or close to it for the shirt. Now for this to appear on our guy, we need to come up with a, a mix shader. We need to put him right here. We need the color there. Whoops, get him there, come on. And the alpha needs to go here. Okay. <clears throat> now let's go get draw ourselves a shirt. Here is our shirt. What color shirt are we going to have? How about a green shirt? Sure. And we're going to bump it all the way up to a solid green. Change the stroke. Nope, we don't care about stroke at the moment. The fall off is what we want. We want a, a hard fall off. What do we got for a line here? Stroke. Let's do a line for the moment. Now, our shirt is going to have a V-neck on it. And it's going to go down here a little bit below his waist. <coughs> Okay, but what happened to our skin? If we go back to our shading, we got all shirt and black. So we got to fix that. And the way we fix that is we got to get in Erase Alpha. Yes, we 
There, now we have some skin and we have some shirt, but hey, let's don't stop now, man. We're on a roll here. Shift D, grab that guy and move him up and... <clears throat> We need a tie on this guy. We can't be walking around with the dumb, nothing but a shirt on. This is a formal affair here. Tie. And again, we need to do the same kind of thing we did before. We need the color. Those here. I don't know, maybe it requires it to be in that direction. I don't think so, but and the alpha to go here. I mean, I will zoom in on this, make it so that you can see it a little easier. <clears throat> okay, so there's our tie. So we got the color going into the that guy and the factor going to this guy. The tie is going to be at the top dog. He's going to be on top of everything since he's last in the chain. So let's draw ourselves a tie. Texture paint. There's our tie. And we're going to erase this guy completely and then paint him in. So let's do a erase alpha. <coughs> Strength. Okay. All right, now let's draw ourselves a tie. We've got to go over here so we can sit. Tie. Hmm? Blue? Sure. Okay. Blue. And what kind of stroke do we want? Let's do a line. You go off to the side, we're not using that. Okay, go back to shading and see what we got. There's our tie, right? So the things to look for, what we, what we got is, this is pretty much the standard mapping for a texture coordinate, you know, from the UV into the mapping guy. And then I put in a layout thingy there too. Reroute, so I pretty fire that up. And SX0, straighten them out. All right, so again, <clears throat> for dealing with this stuff, the last guy on the top of the totem pole, his color goes into the lower one, the previous one goes there, and the factor goes there into your material. And that's what I got for you. Hope you enjoy this. And hope we can figure out a reason to use it soon. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more of these videos, please subscribe and leave a comment. Thank you. Bye.